Let's learn how to use the motorized Z-axis. First, we need to enable Z-axis in device settings. Click Enable Z-axis. Click Relative Z Moves Only. Step 2. Test Z-axis. We will give you two code to test the Z-axis. Right-click Macro in Console, and then input $H space Z. Right-click another Macro, and then input G0 space Z minus 45. Then the laser module will move down 45 millimeters. Let's see how it works. Step 3 Z offset calculation. There will be three ways for you to adjust the height of the module before you start to engrave or to cut. And this will be the first method and it's suggested for the beginners. So our goal is to make sure that the focal point of the laser module on the surface of the material before you're going to engrave or you're going to cut through a material. As we all know, the focal length for E80 will be 25 millimeters. So if you want to make the F0 on the surface of the material, then you only need to get a 25 millimeter block. And every time before you engrave or you cut, just unscrew the screw of the module and then put this block under the module. And then you fix the screws and you're ready to go. And this method, actually, you didn't use the motorized Z-axis as suggested for the beginners. And this will be the second method. As we mentioned before, you need to make sure the F0 on the surface of the material. So this will be the distance of Z offset. So you need to measure the distance from the edge of the module to the surface of the material. This will be the H1. So obviously the Z offset equals H1 minus 25 millimeters. So you just fill the Z offset parameter in library and then you're ready to go. But for this method, when you use different materials with different thickness, you need to measure the H1 again. If you don't want to measure the distance again and again, then here comes the method 3. So actually, for most of the time, our module is fixed and you won't adjust the height of it. So here will be a edge from the edge of the module to the honeycomb board. This one, this number is a fixed number. And a Z offset here, you can see. In this way, the Z offset equals H minus 25 millimeters and then minus the thickness of the material. So we are going to cut through the 10 millimeters solid wood and the Z offset will be 30 millimeters. We set the speed, the power, and it takes two passes to cut through. and set a z-step per pass for the second pass. I want it to be 4.
Method one: use a 25 millimeter block. It's suggested for beginners because it actually didn't use the motorized z-axis. Method two is the most frequently used method. Measure the distance from the edge of the module to your surface of the material, and then minus 25 millimeter. This will be your z-offset parameter. Method three: if you don't want to measure the distance for each of your project, then you can use the method three. The z-offset equals The distance from the edge of the module to the honeycomb board minus 25 millimeters, and then minus the thickness of your material. You can pick a method which is good for you. Let's take a look at the results by our motorized z-axis. Automatically move up and down for each layer. Cut through thick materials. Make projects with different thickness all at once. Deep engraving. Multi-layer engraving. The use of plotter pen. Use the blade just like a cricut. 